I'm Belenique and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression and a review of the Catrice Grip and Last Putty Primer. I think this is quite new to us here. I have not seen it before and I popped into Diskim last week and saw a whole lot of them on display so I think it might be quite a new one for us. I'm very excited for this. I was able to get my hands on the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer when my mom went to the States a few years ago and I loved it. I mean, there is like nothing left. I absolutely loved it. So I have quite high hopes for this one. Um, so let's see how it goes. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on half my face and see how it goes. Um, and I'm going to use a quite an inexpensive foundation, but one that I found has got great um, staying power and stays all day. Um, it's the Little Wet n Wild um, Dewy Photo Focus. It's a very good one. I like it. All right, let's have a look and see. So it says it comes with an applicator. Oh, that's cute. It comes with a little applicator. And that's what it looks like. Um, let's have a feel what it feels like. feels very similar to the e.l.f. one and um, it does have a little bit of a fragrance but it's nothing nothing offensive at all it's nice and smooth I must say it feels very smooth on the skin so let's give it a go I'm gonna zoom you in and let's see how this works for us as you can see I have done my eye makeup already I actually did a little review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette if you are wanting to watch that video, I will link it down below that you can give that a bit of a watch um, and have a look and see how I came up with this look. Right, let's give this a go now and see how this works. Dip the little spatula in. I'm just going to put it, I'm not going to put it all over my face, I'm just going to put it on the bits where I've got enlarged pores. Obviously having an oily skin that is Part of the territory that it comes with. I'd say maybe this one is not as tacky as what the e.l.f. one is and I think I took way 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 too much so I think a little hand or a more smaller application would be better. Oh my word, the door's been banged down by the dog, sorry. Okay, let's have a look and see side by side if I can see any difference but I think before I do anything I must clip this hair up it's driving me bananas okay I'm back all right let's have a look the truth be told I actually can't see much of a difference um, I think my skin does look slightly matter on the left side of my face Yeah, I don't know. I can't see any major change. Maybe it's a different thing when you put your foundation on. It has gotten stickier. I suppose that's where the grippy part of this comes in. Grip and last. Okay. Actually, now that I turn my head, I actually can see a bit of a difference. But it is minuscule. I can still see the pores. So it doesn't look like it's completely flawless at all. All right, let's give it a go and put some foundation on and see how this goes. Well, I can see that it has definitely filled in the pores on my nose because when I put my foundation on, it doesn't seem to... Um, skip over the pores which often if I don't wear any type of primer it does do that and it leaves little open holes which is my pet peeve I can't handle that on my skin yep it's definitely done its job because on this side here I can definitely see the little open pores don't know if you can pick it up and see yeah it definitely has done its job there I would definitely say that it is pore filling it's just very very light which is quite quite refreshing actually it's quite nice it doesn't feel like it's something thick and heavy on your skin my foundation is going on very nicely it's not skipping over it's not sticking funny it's not um, 
coming off. It is looking lovely. Okay, foundation's on. I like it a lot. I really do. I like what it looks like on. It looks very pretty. Okay, my foundation's done. And I went ahead and did some contour and some blusher. So what I'm going to do, and I put a bit of powder on my face as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set it all with some um, setting spray. Um, I just find that that just melts the powdered makeup that I've used. So then at least it doesn't cake and look, make me look older than what I am. I love this setting spray by Benefit. It is a bit pricey, but it is worth every single cent. It is so... The mist is so fine, it's just divine. You could actually even mist your face with your eyes open. It's just lovely. Right, I'm going to go about my day and see how I go. And I'll check in with you a little bit later um, and just see how my makeup does on my skin, if it does break up, if it stays in place. Um, my first impression is I like it a lot. I like the fact that it is very light in its consistency and it has definitely blurred out the pores if I have a look and see I can see a difference which I which is nice to see so it does definitely do that so I'll see you a little bit later and let's see how it finishes up okay I'm back it is now quarter to seven in the evening I applied my makeup and was finished by the application from one o'clock so one two three four five six seven that's six hours of wear um, I was going to push it a little bit longer, but I've been having a look at what the results of my skin look like and there's really no point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, zoom you in and let's have a look together. Okay, super zoomed in. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So I can't really see a difference between the two sides of my face. Um, they both look textured, both sides. Um, this is the side that I put the um, primer on and this side obviously wasn't. Um, and I can see all of my texture, all the pores and the pores over here as well and what I have noticed is that the foundation has broken down around my nose and around my mouth so in terms of this being a what does it say a skin perfecting solid primer that evens out pores and imperfections I'm going to say that it's a fail for me and it has not um, increased the wear of my foundation as it says that it does as well um, so I'm going to say that this one's a bit of a fail for me, which is a bit sad. I had high hopes, but I will keep on looking for the perfect pore filling primer and I will keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, please can you consider giving me a thumbs up? And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join our community. It would be really awesome. So that's it from me and I will catch you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.